Nagyon. My next guest was a star on a hugely popular TV show, Home Improvement, as well as many different feature films. But I must be honest with you, I'm a little nervous because I hear Tim Allen can be caustic. Although I bet in the long run someone like Dennis Miller is more caustic-er. <laughs> is there such a word as caustic-er? Maybe you're thinking of pot sticker. Mm, pot stickers. <laughs> oh, why did you have to mention them? <laughs> Ramon, do Uncle Jiminy a favor. Hop on your bike and scoot down to Sywoods and tell Wing that Jiminy Glick wants a couple or three dozen pot stickers for later. Wonderful. <laughs> Anyways, I'm a tremendous fan of my next guest because. <whistles> Ramon, don't forget the horse and sauce boy! <laughs> So, good night, everyone. I believe this has been one of our better shows. And if you do carpool Jiminy, Jiminy. the way home, I beg of you. I'm praying. Excuse me. Jim, mm -hmm. I, I believe you, you're supposed to be introducing Tim Allen. I was? <laughs> Who canceled? <laughs> oh, well. Please welcome Tim Allen. <laughs> Please. Thank you all very much. Look at you. Everyone's favorite Tim Allen. Isn't that wonderful that you get to be you? <laughs> Your real name is Tim Allen Dick. Yes. And I always thought that was just, you know, someone describing you. But that's your actual last name, is it not? Yes, Jiminy, it is. And why did you change it, Tim Allen? Well, because you can't go on TV as comedian Tim Dick. When people, when the first time I did a television show, they said, why not just call it Tim Penis? I mean, if you're going to go that Tim way... Tim Penis or, or Tim Wiener or something like that. Yeah, something like that. And they Tim said, Hog. I'm sure you're a huge fan of men's jewelry. That's what someone told me. A gardener told me that. A gardener? My gardener, Jorge, said, you're asking me about the jewelry. <laughs> I wonder why he did that. I don't. I have no clue. I don't know why either. Jorge. 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 Wonderful, wonderful man. Yes, I. I there's From no... Cincinnati, original. But if, Cincinnati, Mexico. See. Si. <laughs> Tell me about home improvement. How did something like that get started? I'm more interested in this, the Dodge Ram, the big truck you got. Oh, I love a big truck. I know you do. And I love my big flag, and, and I'm going to switch it to an American, this one. It's always a good idea. Uh, yes. Nothing excites me more than a late... I, Jay Leno and I are very similar, except that he looks different and he has a different name. But we will... We love to spend a day underneath and, and you know, just lubing up a truck, and, and the next thing you know, you're covered in grease, and then, and then you got to wash and scrub, and then you get lost in the tub, and there are bubbles, and one time I almost drowned in the tub. But it starts off with the truck itself. <laughs> and you were in Toy Story. Yes, Toy Story and 1 buzz, and 2. You're a buzz. I, 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 I was, yes. And your voice was so different. Your well, I am Buzz Lightyear, yes. See, no, that, that, that doesn't, that, that's completely different yeah. from anything you do, because it doesn't sound like you. <laughs> You're paid so much. Yeah. And I think that's astounding. I loved you as Brad Sexton. Where did that character come from? Brad Sexton. For richer or for poor? Well, of course. I my love for richer I work poor. with uh, Kirstie Alley. Kirstie Alley, the Scientologist. Yes, and I asked her what goes on at Scientology. What did she say? Oh, my God! Someone's on the phone. Hello? Hey, Jiminy, it's Ben Stiller. Not now, please. Ben Stiller, he's an irritant. What? Let me ask you something. She took he's, an, the, she, he's an irritant? To me, he's trading on Jerry. Now, let me ask you Jerry Stiller. Yes. Is, oh, his dad. I see. So, so, he, she, she, he, she, she took... She, oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, here, 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 here. <laughs> All right. She took her to the desert. And what did she do? Well, I wondered, what do they do in Scientology meetings? I Private meetings. And yeah. she said they just wear colorful hats. That's all they do. They have a machine that goes in, they measure your head, you get to pick your logo, and now you're Scientologist. <laughs> this 
is absolutely fantastic. Have I done the show before? Yes, you have. We didn't use any of it, but... Because right. <laughs> I can't remember being here. No, 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 no. no, no. It, it didn't fly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I keep thinking of something funny that happened earlier. Well, no, I can't. It's certainly not happening now. <laughs> Listen, let me say something to you. Now, you've acted with so many luscious, luscious babes. Rene Rousseau. Rene Russo, I did a movie with. Did your French kiss her? Yes, I did. Was she awake? She was. She was. Uh, it was her idea, actually. There's a big love scene in a movie called Big Trouble. I did with Barry Sonnefeld. Were you thrown? Were you nervous? I was thrown. I was thrown. I was nervous, and uh, I got um, real nervous. Shall we say, real nervous? Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't make that noise, oh. but other things happened. Was this at the rap party or were you shooting the movie? This was... This was... <laughs> That's a good singer I got off. Because the, what, I, what I took was the reality and I reversed uh, it. That's, how, that's what we do. I need some help. I need a little bit of medication. No, 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 no. Right. This has been lots of fun. I'm sitting with uh, Tim Allen, Dick, and, and he's been so much... When you put a pause in there like that, people get the idea that you just called me a dick. You didn't. No, no, I wouldn't call you. You're Tim Allen, dick. <laughs> ah, that's whatever. You set me up for it, and that's why I did it. And there's no other reason. Tim Allen, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll be back after this. Don't you dare go away. Stay tuned for Edie Falco.